What's up, our nation? It's your girl Aki. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a girl talk video 101. So, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my social media. They'll be on the screen and, of course, down below, like always. And no further ado, let's get into today's video. Alright y'all, don't mind my bun. It might be a little lopsided. Don't look at that too much. So I got some questions on my phone that I'm going to be answering in today's video. So I'm going to pull those up right now. So yeah. Okay, so first question on this girl talk is... How do you deal with fake friends? I say don't deal with them. If you see somebody is being fake towards you, being weird, or has secret animosity towards you, and they're your friend, cut them off immediately. Don't deal with it because that baby, they're not your friends. Okay, not everybody is your friend. I have gone through a lot of fake friends in my life, and how I deal with it now is I talk to them about it, let them know that I feel like there's some secret animosity or they're being weird towards me. After that talk, can either go two ways: we could stay being friends if they change their behavior, or cut them off it's really it's not that hard like this all over the place but yeah you can either cut somebody off just dry cut them off which I've done that before in the past but if I really like like you as a friend I'm not gonna just cut you off I'm gonna have a talk with you I'm gonna let you know that you're being weird or I feel some secret animosity towards you from me towards you to me so yeah you can either just cut them off or talk to them about it after you talk to them about it if they change their behavior you guys can continue being friends if they don't change their behavior and they're still being fake and weird towards you that's not your friend and you just need to end things with them all right bet let's move on to question number two <clears throat> how do you deal with drama it's like in the same you know boat um again i don't really like deal with it like don't deal with it People trying to put you in drama that doesn't have anything to do with you. Let them know that it has nothing to do with you. Just let them know. Like that's like that's the I'm, I'm giving y'all advice that I would do. Like if somebody try to put me in drama that has nothing to do with me, baby, it has nothing to do with me. So why are you trying to put me in a certain something that has nothing to do with me? <laughs> Pack it up. <laughs> like we're not doing this. Like come on, we're not doing this. So I don't really deal with it. Don't like in high school. You don't just get put in drama. You got to do something to be put in a drama. So you don't really just get put in a drama. But if you do get put in a drama because you did something wrong. You either going to have to try to talk it out with the other person. Or some people in high school don't like to talk. They like to buck it out. So do as you wish. Okay. You can either choose the violence route or you can talk it out with the other person. Do as you wish. All right, bet. Um, question number three. How to tell a boy or a guy you're not interested? Tell him. <laughs> um, if a boy is, like, showing interest in you and you don't have the same interest in them, I will, like, tell them privately or secretly, like, you know, do a little text. Hey, I'm currently not looking for a relationship right now or I'm not interested in you. I'm sorry, but it's not going to work out, Bookie, but... I just told the guy that I would like to continue being friends and I don't want to get in a relationship with them. And that's what I did. So yeah, and it worked. I mean, we're not friends anymore, but you get the point. Question number four. Um, <laughs> What advice do you have for young teenagers? Not everybody is your friend. Be happy, protect your peace. Because people like to ruin your peace. Just come into your life, ruin your peace, and leave. So protect your peace. Don't open up your heart to the wrong people. If you know they're not genuine, don't be genuine to them. And just cut them out your life. Um, be happy. Protect your peace. And not everybody's your friend. So yeah. Question number five. Thoughts slash advice about middle school and high school. Thoughts and advice. Okay, so my thoughts on middle school... Y'all kids need to grow up. High school, y'all still need to grow up. Because what, like, why is we acting like we 12 in 11th grade? <laughs> What's going on? Um, let me see. And advice for middle schoolers, I would say, again, not everybody's your friend. 
change your mentality when you're coming from eighth grade to ninth grade don't act the same way you did in eighth grade don't be being loud i mean <laughs> don't get being loud don't be thinking middle school is high school because it's not don't do what you did in middle school and high school because people don't play like that in high school to grow up change your mentality and grow up as a person because you're we can't still be acting how we did in seventh grade and a tenth grade. It's not cute. Okay, we need to grow up. Boom! Question number six. Any hygiene tips? Let me see. I want to do a hygiene routine video on my channel. But that's going to be another video. Scrape your tongue. Always have two body washes. I use two body washes. I use one that like actually cleans my body. And then I use one that's just for like the scent. So don't just use don't just use one body wash. That has a good smell to it. Use one that actually cleans your body as well. Um, another tip: I don't use washcloth personally because I feel like they don't—they're not hard enough for me. Like I need something that's going to actually exfoliate the hell out of my body. So I don't use washcloth. Every, I don't use them at all. I'll use um, exfoliating gloves on my body every single day. I don't care if it's harsh, baby. I need my body to be clean. When you wash your face, I personally do not use my hands to wash my face. I use like a little like exfoliator i'm gonna show you like what i use for my face it's this it's like this little, little um silicone exfoliator that's what i use for my face i don't just use my hands because i feel like my hands ain't doing enough it's not really getting in there so i use this to like really get in my skin yeah use mouthwash as well i also want to start um oil pooling because i heard that's really good so i'm gonna start that and yeah i hope people don't wash their feet in the shower what you mean you too big not to wash your feet in a damn shower. Go scrub them feet, please. Like, that's really dirty if you think about it. But yeah, wash your feet in the shower. Scrub your tongue. Use mouthwash. Use a silicone scrubber for your face. Use body glove. Use, what's it called? Hand exfoliators. Because the mouth cars don't really be scrubbing enough of that dead skin off. You need the dead skin to go off. Also, I use like a scrub every single, not every single shower. I also use Tree Hut scrubs, or you can use any scrub you want, at least once a week. So yeah, not every day, because if you do every day, it's actually really harsh for your skin. But, yeah. Alright y'all, so we're back. So yo, the, oh, not my pajama pants. But yeah, those are my hygiene tips. I really want to do like a actual like full hygiene routine on my channel. So if you guys want to see that, comment down below. I get that video up for you guys as soon as possible. So... What number is we on? Number seven, I think we're on. Teen relationships. Yeah. Okay. Teen relationships. Y'all teens nowadays are fast. Like, y'all are speedy. You don't need to be having a boyfriend at 14 or 15. Slow down. What you doing, Miss Ma'am? <laughs> like, for real. I don't know if there's like a perfect age to be in a relationship. It's really just when you're ready. And when you feel like you're ready and when you're ready to love someone else. But before you can love someone else, love yourself first. So it's really just best based on when you're ready. But if I had to put an age to it, I would say like 17, 16 for your first relationship. 16, 16 to 18 for your first relationship. I feel like 18 is kind of late. But it's like, what is you rushing for? Like, you really don't got to rush. So 16 to 18 for your first relationship. But at the same time, just doing when you're ready. If you're not ready to you're 19... Girl, doing you 19. Nobody gonna, nobody gonna say nothing. What can they really say? Okay, question number number eight. Red and green flags in guys. Okay. I'm gonna do red flags first. One, when they're gaslighting you. Two, when they only want one thing and we all know what that one thing is. Three, they're not truly interested in you or like want to get to know you for real. Four, when they're cocky. Five, bad hygiene six trying to control you what you wear what you do who you talk to so you was not my daddy and those are my red flags and for my green flags one making your priority checking in on you every single day morning evening and night every hour of the day checking in on you three making sure you're good four taking accountability of his actions five honesty because why is you lying to me one month into the talking stage like, why is you already lying for? If they already lying and y'all not even dating yet, please drop it. 
please drop them. Because what the f I don't even give up for real and you're already lying. What is you lying for? Like, come on. Ugh. How do you know if a boy is interested in you? Okay. He's putting effort into getting to know you. And when I say this, don't be delusional about it either. Like, oh, he looked at me. He want me. Girl, no, he don't. <laughs> no, he don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need to use this information too, to be honest. But yeah, no, he don't. Um, If he really shows that he cares and wants to, like, know you as a person and is putting in effort to getting to know you and he's consistent, girl, that man wants you. <laughs> the man wants you. <laughs> like, the man wants you. Okay, hello. Frick the counting. Next question. Thoughts on toxic friendships and relationships. It's not cute. Let's not be bringing that to 2024 because why are you being toxic as my man or as my girl or as my best friend or as my homeboy? Why are you toxic? Like, I bet like, a little toxic is cool. Is that bad? But, you know, yeah, a little toxic is cool. I don't think that's bad. But, you know. Why is we arguing every morning, day and night? I don't want to argue with you every morning, day and night. Like you not you not tired of arguing? Damn. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Like why is we arguing morning, day and night? It's getting I'm, I'm tired. Damn. Bad. Next question. How to deal with stress? I like this one cuz child me trying to handle school and YouTube and a actual life as a teenager is kind of tough, okay? But how do I deal with the stress? Never overwhelm yourself. If you know you need a break, give yourself a break. Like, if you need to go, like, a whole... I can't say a whole week, but, like, if you need to go, like, a whole day without doing any schoolwork or, like, any YouTube or anything else, anything else that you do, give yourself that break, like... Give yourself that whole day to forget about school, forget about YouTube, forget about your sports, and just, like, relax. Do, do things you like for that one day when you relax. Like, take a bath, do a face mask, watch your favorite show, and just forget about everything else that overwhelms you. Okay. Next question, how to do a procrastination. <laughs> um, how to do a procrastination. Child, let me know when you find out. Okay. Like, when you found out how to do procrastination, let me know, please. But what I can say is think about the end goal. Think about why you're doing it in the first place. And if you think about that, like, okay, I want to get my homework done because I want to get all A's. And you think about that, you're going to be like, oh, let me get off a TikTok because I want to get them all A's. Like, if you just think about the end goal, you're going to want to get to that end goal. And when you want to get to that end goal, nothing can stop you, a.k.a. TikTok or Instagram or being on that phone for hours. So if you want to get to that end goal, don't get distracted on the way to the end goal. Hello! I'm going to be a motivational speaker at this point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> motivational who? Like, don't play with me on so. What? I'm really motivational. <laughs> Hello. Okay. They've only got two questions left. Okay, yeah. How do how to set boundaries with other people? How to set boundaries? You gotta let people know they place. You gotta let people know they place. And is this a real, this is a good question, honestly, because I don't. This question, honestly, I don't even know. Like my like, I knew every other question. Like I had advice for it, but this one myself, I need to work on it myself as well. So I don't really know how to set boundaries with other people. But. To set boundaries with other people, I feel like you just got to respect yourself and you're not going to let nobody cross that boundary of disrespecting you. You guys get what I'm trying to say? So, like, cut me up with these, for real. But I just feel like if you respect yourself, you won't let anybody cross that boundary to disrespect you. So, just set that boundary. Learn how to respect yourself first so that nobody else will cross that boundary of disrespect. And yeah, that's really just how to respect, like, how to set boundaries is just respecting yourself and making sure nobody crosses the boundaries to disrespect you. Nobody at all. Okay? And then last and final question, period tips, y'all. Oh, this is a good one. I will say get a period tracker on your phone so you guys can never, like, you know, be, like, unexpected of your period. Um, don't feel forced to use tampons because I know that's, like, a thing now. 
If you don't want to put it up there, girl, use a pad or a soap. Or a soap. Like, so yeah. I just thought everybody go, like, every girl goes through, you're not alone. And it's like a scary journey of like you first getting your gear kit. It's a normal thing. So, you'll be fine. And yeah. Just have that pad. Just have that pad on you at all times. And them ivory profits on so. Alright, thank you guys so much for tuning in into my little girl talk 101. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my social medias, my Snapchat, my Instagram, and my Twitter. Because I'll be spitting facts on Twitter. Hello. I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.